What is up my friends, welcome back to another video and today we are taking a look at another Spitfire audio library called Abbey Road 1 Thematic Trumpets. And so this is the newest addition to their Abbey Road 1 series. I believe they started all the way back with their Abbey Road 1 uh, Orchestral Essentials, I believe that's what it's called. And then they've basically been creating these add-on packages of uh, $50 each, so relatively affordable. And they're gonna make their way through all the different sections, I would assume. And so this one in particular is supposed to remind us of the traditional John Williams scores, Alan Silvestri, Jerry Goldsmith, and it's supposed to evoke that classic heroic triumphant trumpet sound. And so they basically recorded four trumpets in unison. And we're gonna go through the Spitfire player and have a listen to uh, the patches here. Um, the one thing I do really appreciate about the Spitfire player is that the layout is relatively simple. You can see here from this image, you essentially have the uh, plug-in here and you have the, you know, the knob in the middle, you have the two faders for volume and expression essentially. And then here at the bottom, you have the articulations, which makes it very simple to look at. It's literally like the Northern Southern hemisphere, um, just top and bottom and very, very easy. So we're going to take a look at that. Um, I, I've already had a playthrough with it. I'm I'm really enjoying it so far. But in case you are curious about the other libraries that I do recommend and the ones that I really do enjoy using on a regular basis, then I do want to give you my sample library buyer's guide absolutely free. It's essentially a culmination of all of the sample libraries that I use regularly, and I put it all into a PDF guide. It's super simple to read, very digestible. You could read it within a couple hours, honestly, and or you know probably actually a few minutes. It's it, you know it's all my per, uh, personal selections, and I just wanted to give it to you in a uh, digestible, easy to read format. And so you can you can download it for absolutely free. Just click the first link in the box below. It'll take you straight there as my thank you for checking out this review today. All right, so without any further ado, let's jump in. Let's have a listen to these trumpets. And we're gonna start with the legato. There's only seven articulations in total. And so let's have a quick listen here.
All right, so they all do have a very beautiful sound in the Abbey Road Hall. Um, the only thing I'm curious about is the legato itself. Uh, it seems like the highest dynamic range is about like a forte bordering on fortissimo. I would personally have loved an even more searing top end in terms of the amount of dynamic uh, force they put into the, the instrument themselves. Of course, it's difficult because you know, you can tire out the trumpet player's lips very easily after a prolonged note at a forte, fortissimo dynamic. But even if it's just for a couple of seconds, I think they could have gone even higher with that searing top end. Um, for example, the city brass trumpets uh, actually go, you know, really, really far in that dynamic. And even um, the cinematic studio brass trumpets, uh, they, they really achieve that fortissimo uh, kind of register and I would have loved to hear that here as well uh, but in general everything is very smooth it sounds great and the legato itself uh, seems to respond very well especially for that slower melodic type of playing you can really hear those some of those transitions especially when you're going from octaves right like push out the module you can hear that little transition there which is really beautiful um, but for faster playing, you know, it doesn't hold up as well because you get some of that smear in there. So I do think that this library is kind of meant for that slower style of playing, but, you know, more majestic and bold rather than being super agile and all of that. So just keep that in mind. That's just a personal impression, but it's something to be aware of if you are investing in this library. But in general, I think the size of it is, I think, like 10 gigabytes, if I'm not mistaken. So it's not overly large. Um, and it, do it does what it sets out to do very well. I could definitely see myself using this in maybe combination with Cinebrass um, if I need that extra juice in the trumpets. Because I think the trumpet section in Cinebrass core is uh, three trumpets as an ensemble, and this one is four. So that would be seven trumpets in total, which is plenty for any cue, you know? But anyway, yeah, that's kind of a little uh, look into the Spitfire Audio Abbey Road 1 thematic trumpets. Cool name, by the way. Um, and yeah, I, d I, d I definitely do think I, I definitely do think it lives up to its name. Again, I would just love that extra bit of dynamic on the top end, and then maybe a even more agile legato uh, would be would be really cool as well. But those are just small little niggles. Overall, I'm do I am enjoying the library. I think it sets out what to do, what it sets out to do very well, and I'm excited to see what uh, Spitfire Audio is doing next in the Abbey Road series. So thank you again for watching. Let me know if you have any questions about the library. Uh, looking forward to uh, checking out more of what they have to offer. And again, if you're interested in my personal recommendations for the libraries I prefer, then do check out the Sample Library Buyer's Guide. It's absolutely free. Just click the link below. It'll take you straight there. And it's my gift to you for checking out this video. Uh, it basically categorizes all of my favorite libraries by orchestral sections like strings, winds, brass, and percussion. But I've also listed the prices as well and how I personally use them so you can assess, get a sense of um, you know, what you're investing in and actually how to use those libraries once you do get them. So I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Thank you so much again for watching. I'll catch you in the next video and take care. Bye-bye.